We believe that community involvement is what makes a community bank successful. And the success that we've had is all related to the way we treat our customers, the way we treat our employees, and the end result benefits all of our shareholders. Hi, I'm Gary Tice. I am the chairman and CEO of First Florida Integrity Bank in Naples, Florida. Hello, I'm Garrett Richter, and uh, I did have the privilege of meeting Gary. We opened this bank in October 2009. Gary and I had the, uh, uh, the benefit of entering into a four-year extended no-compete agreement. And if you want to talk about luck? So we were on the bench 05, 06, 07, and 08. And then we, the no-compete ended in 09 and we were able to put the band back together. We had, we had uh, close to 50 of our former employees leave their current employer to come back and join us before we opened up. Uh, and and, and they, they, they stayed with us uh, for close to a year before we were able to open up because of some regulatory hurdles that we had to overcome. Uh, and one of the regulatory hurdles was our FDIC insurance. And quite frankly, the FDIC was not in a hurry to approve a new charter uh, when you talk about uh, bad Fridays and banks closing, they, they, they felt that uh, uh, with us uh, uh, getting a new charter and establishing a new community bank in this town that it might expedite the failure of other banks in town. Uh, they told us that uh, directly and uh, I guess they were, they were kind of right because the Friday before we opened on a Monday, three banks in this town were shut down. Uh, but. Uh, uh, the good, that's the bad news for the community. The good news for the community is we opened on Monday. So one of, the, uh, one of the things that was unique about this bank when we put it together was we looked at what did we want to do. We wanted to make sure we took care of all of the employees. We wanted to make sure they had good benefits. They had a good pay. Also, we knew that by taking care of the community that it would come back to us tenfold. Uh, we've had a great opportunity to see the community grow. As a community bank, we have the opportunity to interact and to help small businesses, uh, medium-sized businesses, and larger businesses. The, the real reason that we're able to do this is the quality of the lending staff we have. I think that's so important to understand that all of our lenders have experience in Collier County. We don't bring in lenders from out of state. We look for people who have ties to Collier County. They know the customer. They actually go out and meet with the customer. Our role is to continue that relationship and to approve the loan. But there is a lot of importance that is played on, on that lender. And that's what makes our bank different is they have the authority to do the things that other banks will not allow their lenders to do. And that brings it home to an example of, there's been a, a well-established business in Naples, Florida. It's been here since 1958. It's called Sunshine Ace Hardware. They wanted to buy another store. They wanted to move one of their stores that was in a shopping center and make it a standalone. And now they are looking at buying more hardware stores. They're Ace Hardware stores. We have the opportunity to evaluate those opportunities. But obviously, they're going to go to their existing bank. And that bank basically sat back and said, I'm sorry. There's nothing we can do because headquarters said we're not interested in those types of loans. And they came to us. And we found a way that was beneficial to both the bank and to them. They are restructuring the store and the difference is we as a community bank, we're interested in any loan that will help that business grow and benefit our community. It is a two-way street. What happens when they expand? They hire more people and that benefits the community. I think there will always always be a need for a community bank. 